right, well, thanks for having me. I'm Drew Ayers. I'm from Seattle, Washington. I work at the University of Washington and soon to be Seattle Children's as well. Um, I was asked to come talk about why I chose allergy and immunology, and it's a great question. I had to think about it, and I was in a unique situation that my father was an allergy and immunology doctor, and before I knew what he did, I knew that he absolutely loved his job. He works, at, he works the same job he has all these years, and he still works five days a week, not because he has to, but because he loves it so much. I got to know him, a lot of his colleagues, and now I know a lot of allergists, obviously, and I think overall we're a pretty happy bunch. We, we all love allergy immunology. We love the field. It's very challenging, and you know, we're, we're, we're all very happy in this. Um, the other reason is going through med school, I really enjoyed internal medicine. I knew that's what I wanted to do, but I wanted to see kids as well, and this is one of the few specialties that allowed us to do that. I, I, I see more adults, but I see kids as well, and I really enjoy that aspect of it. And another reason is the diversity of patients you get to see with this. Not only adults, peds, but you get to see a lot of different, a lot of different cases. And I was thinking about this last week, and my first four patients on one of my schedules one day were so different. The first one was allergic asthma, allergic rhinitis, did skin testing, spirometry. Often these are young, healthy patients, and you can do a lot for them. Um, it's very gratifying. The next patient was an immunodeficiency patient with common variable immunodeficiency. And uh, she was not doing well. She was having a lot of infectious complications, a lot of the autoimmune phenomenon that go along with that, and we were actually working her up for transplant. The next patient was a patient with cystic fibrosis who has a lot of drug allergies and needed to be put on the right appropriate medication. So we worked her up in clinic, and we're actually going to challenge her on an inpatient basis with one of the medications that she desperately needs. Um, so they're very different diagnoses. And the last one was the um, aspirin, aspirin exacerbated respiratory disease, or AERD patients, that we often desensitize. These are patients with, the, with asthma, um, nasal polyps, and sensitivity to NSAIDs. So we were actually planning an aspirin desensitization. Again, very different uh, patients and very challenging in each one. So again, I, it, people are very happy in this field is one of the reasons. The ability to see um, adults and pediatrics and the many different diagnoses that we get to see and follow. So that's one of the major three reasons that I chose this field. The next question is a, is a pearl. I'm going to try and change that around a little bit and say, what's a misconception? And I get a lot of med students and uh, residents that rotate through our clinic, and they constantly say it's more of an outpatient-based field. And you know, I, I tell them that's not the case. You know, we, I see a lot of inpatients. I actually attend on general medicine rounds. So I enjoy the hospital aspect of it as well. Like any field in medicine, you can pick what is appropriate for you, and I enjoy the inpatient aspect of it, and if that's what you're interested in, there's definitely uh, an area in that field. We see immunodeficiency patients, drug allergy patients, and patients, and it, it, it's very diverse, and you know, we're, we're very busy, so it, it is a lot of fun. So the advice I would give a, a medical student or a resident would be, Go and see multiple different allergy practices. Again, they're very different. You know, mine's more of an inpatient base uh, oftentimes, but we do have a, a clinic in the hospital. Other people are more outpatient based, and like all of medicine, you can find what interests you. So I would follow, uh, check out a few clinics, go to a few different areas. If you're interested in the field, we'd love to have you. We need bright minds in this field, and uh, I would just try and go to the children's hospital, go to the local hospital, see an outpatient private practice clinic, because I, I think you'd find something that interests you as well. You know, I always knew I had an interest in allergy and immunology, and the question is, what, what made me go into it? What, what was the day I decided, this is what I'm going to do? So as a med student and an intern, I rotated through some allergy and immunology clinics, and I saw a patient with common variable immunodeficiency there. She actually had a very strange presentation with HSV encephalitis. Um, but I remember that patient, and a few years later, we had a similar presentation with bacterial and, um, uh, uh, meningitis, encephalitis, and something didn't make sense. She had recurrent pneumonias, and I got immunoglobulin levels, and I made the diagnosis of common variable immunodeficiency, and she did very well after that. So it was that moment I knew. Of course, I was looking into other fields, pulmonary, pulmonology, cardiology, things like that. But at that moment, I knew this was a field for me, and it was a diagnosis that not many other people have heard of. So, of course, we got to present it at our, at our rounds and things like that. And it was definitely the moment I decided I knew I was going to go into allergy and immunology.